Well, you've probably gathered that the show's over here at St David's Hall, but not on BBC Wales. You want to know who's won? Keep watching. So do we. <laughs> it's amazing. You could tell from the response, what a piece, what a phenomenal singer. That, uh, we must remind everybody, that's a 12-minute aria, pretty much, Tatiana's letter aria from Adriana Onyegin. And actually, it just, she embodies that character. That's who she is at the moment. She's doing it at the Bolshoi Theatre. She lives and breathes it. Technically, she's in every zone. She's just such a fluid, comfortable, adorable singer, I think. Tim? I think she's wonderful. And I think it's a really brave choice just to have two arias. But with the letter scene, there's so much variety. It's one of those scenes that is, is up there. You know, it's one of the biggest soprano roles. And I think because, of, because it's in her native tongue, she just has exactly the right quality. Let me ask you, they kept the wow factor to the last singer yesterday. Have they done the same today? Yeah, have they done best to last? She wowed me. I think we, we both sat yeah. there. She really did. Because the first piece she did was Comiscolio, Mozart. And she was a powerful Mozartian heroine. So we had two different characters, and yet she carried. She was a world-class singer. Hey, listen, we had a competition last night, but... Uh, even greater competition tonight. This has been a tough round, and I will stick my neck out and say there might be more than one finalist going through from tonight's I round. Really? Yeah, I agree. There's yes. a strong well, how many? we think. Um, I would say two, po oh. possibly three, two more likely. But it's impossible to compare, isn't it? It's very difficult to compare. It's still not impossible, because in the end, you're not comparing each singer with themselves. You're still comparing that singer within his or herself, and that's a different thing. Talia, how are you feeling? Well, I certainly hope they haven't put best to last, because I'm third. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just rewind on that whole conversation, <laughs> shall we? No, we can't. <laughs> In your round, apparently, they've kept the best till third. <laughs> now, now, let me ask you, I'll put you on, uh, on the spot. You're not going to say anything, I presume, but who do you think is going to win this evening? I do agree that I think there'll be two finalists. I think Anna from England did a wonderful job, but I think it's going to be Miss Russia. I second that also, uh, Russia. I think Russia has won this evening. Yeah, it's evening. a close thing. That's our choice. Did the judges agree? Over to John Fisher, chair of the panel, with tonight's results. The winner this evening is Inishliv Heno Adi. From Russia, Ekaterina Sherbachenko. <laughs> down to you. Uh, <laughs> that was wonderful. Did you enjoy it? Oh, it was so amazing. So, I think it's just a miracle <laughs> for me. I'm so happy to be here, here in Cardiff and here in this studio. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, no, we thank you. It was a, a wonderful performance. What would it mean for you to win this? Mm. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm proud <laughs> of this um, um, winning, yeah, I don't understand actually now <laughs> what is it. <laughs> I tell you what, you can relax for the end of the evening. Our deserved winner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and that's it for tonight, and what a night it's been. Remember, you can see a longer version of this evening's concert tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. on BBC4 with Petrock Trelawney. Don't want to miss it. Well done to tonight's winner and good luck to you. Thank you for joining me. Many thanks to my guests, Tim Rhys Evans and Natalia Romanu. Good luck to you on Wednesday. Amy <laughs> and myself will be back live at St David's Hall tomorrow at 10 p.m. If you fancy joining us, why not come on down? They have... You really be fooled to miss it. Until then, good night for you. <laughs>